Sarah Brent, most of us only learn about junk fees at checkout when the final price of an airline ticket or a hotel room is suddenly much more than what was initially advertised. It's a problem that Congressman Joe Courtney and Senator Richard Blumenthal say they hear about all the time, and it's why they want to put an end to these deceitful business practices. Jason Sattler of Groton is fed up with hidden fees. We need more options and we the fans need to be put before profits. But those added costs baked into concert tickets, flights at the airport and hotel rooms are hard to avoid. And oftentimes they aren't discovered until the end of a purchasing process, as in Jason's recent experience with Ticketmaster. What I did not expect was the $41.10 service fee that was attached to each ticket. That showed up when I went to go check out. We need more transparency and regulations on these so-called fees. Congressman Joe Courtney said several dozen constituents from across the political spectrum have reached out to his office about this. Uh, all of Congress, and I don't care what kind of district you represent, whether it's Democrat or Republican, House or Senate, is hearing organically at the grassroots level from uh, people who are just so frustrated. In May, he and a majority of his colleagues in Congress passed the Ticket Act, requiring companies to advertise the total cost of a ticket up front. Senator Richard Blumenthal introducing a separate bill in the U.S. Senate called the Junk Fee Prevention Act, which would stop industries from stacking on excessive and unnecessary fees. Blumenthal said, quote, everyone has been a victim of the excessive and exploitative fees charged by Ticketmaster, airlines, hotels, internet service providers, and others. They are pervasive, and the industry uses them because they can be confusing and concealed. It's what Connecticut leaders call a first step to protecting consumers from greedy companies. It's just not fair to uh, uh, consumers to, to have the state of affair continue. Earlier this year, the Biden administration introduced a new rule that would require airlines to disclose fees for checking a bag or changing a flight, but the airline industry is suing over this to stop the change from happening. Credit card companies are also pushing back on the efforts, with a federal judge in Texas putting a hold on a new rule that would have blocked companies from charging late fees higher than $8. Brent, Sarah.